Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. What the? That was not that satisfying at all. I got this um drink that that is en français. I can't speak that. Mango peach gin smash. I don't know if this is like a local thing or Canadian thing or American thing. It was a while ago. We we're all talking about how great gin is. And I was like, I don't like pine trees. And everyone told me to give it a shot. So my mom bought these. Mm, wow, that's actually, it's very good. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Malika? Yeah. I even looked up too, and I saw there was something there in the gray text, and I didn't fucking read it. God damn it, Joseph. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. I think that we'll make a very productive team, even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't actually think that, do you? Why the fuck would I just pick you because I felt bad? Like, I don't care about people that much. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me because you're fucking hot. <laughs> I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. The house is quiet. I know the game's fucking quiet now. What the hell? Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. What the fuck? I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? I thought I found her. Now I'm saying her name. Oh, she's right there. Hi, Malika. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. I was gonna say, you're the one who invited me to the club, and then now you're mad that I'm in it. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings if i didn't make that stupid mistake then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all you wouldn't have come here i grab sayori by the shoulders what on earth are you saying ah, ah. sorry gives me an empty smile i've always been like this you're just seeing it for the first time what are you talking about sayori you're really just gonna make me say it aren't you malika i've had really bad depression my whole life why did you think i'm late for school every day because most days i can't even find a good reason to get out of bed what reason is there to do anything when i fully know how worthless i am why go to school why eat? Why make friends? That's what it feels like. Dot, dot, dot. Damn. Sayori, that's really sad. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? It's funny too, because I'm like, my characters say that she kept this from me, but she literally just said all the signs that she's given me. Like not wanting to get out of bed. That's a huge sign for people going through depression, not wanting to do basic life things, showering, taking care of themselves. And people see that from the outside and just think they're lazy, but it's never that. Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as you're close. Wow, so I turn it and make this all about me now. She like comes forward with like feelings and depression that she's going through and I'm just like, why didn't you tell me, huh? Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Well, now you know, so get good. Supporter, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. Well, start now. You don't understand at all, Malika. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club it feels like a spear going through my heart that's why i decided the world just wants to torture me every path leads to nothing but hurt ha 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 whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting that's what i'll do the only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was without thinking i once again grab sayori's shoulders this time i pull her into a tight embrace ah malika sayori i don't care if you feel selfish i'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough sayori isn't hugging me back despite my arms being wrapped around her sayori's arms remain at her side she starts sobbing next to my ear don't do this to me please don't do this malika i what the fuck is happening sari barely manages to speak between her sobs i don't know if i'm doing the right thing but all i want is for her to know that i care i'll make these feelings go away i don't know i don't know gently sari finally puts her arms around me in return i don't know anything it's all really scary i don't understand any of my feelings malika the only time i'm not feeling nothing is when i'm feeling pain but your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. What the fuck? You just like go to somebody's house for the first time and then open their fucking desk drawer? Like what the hell? I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Should we get started? Yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? The fuck says that? 
mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Intense? Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Here's a marker, Malika. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Just Fucking do it! Hell. Make your dreams come true! Kelly, what the hell? <laughs> Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. The fuck, why does she have a pocket knife? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise, promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. All right. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. What the fuck, Yuri? Yuri, what the like, what? like Yuri, I thought you were hot. <laughs> They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? What am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ah, uh, you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's interesting thing to be into, I guess, but I think it kind of suits you. I must really like her if I'm just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, chosen. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. Oh, wow, safe knife handling skills. It feels heavy and extremely solid. That's what she said. Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow. Malika, why did you do that? Apparently, I like pain, Yuri, okay? You like knives, I like pain. Like, get over yourself. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Is she a vampire? Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. What the f Fuck. <laughs> I thought her just liking knives were weird. And now, like, Yuri, is this why you didn't want me to come to your house? Because it was just gonna be like knives everywhere. I feel her tongue what curl around my finger? It's finger looking good. <laughs> Yuri probably. <laughs> I mean, she's still hot. I'm confused. <laughs> Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure, it was a little weird. A little weird was fucking so weird. I mean, a little. I think my character in this game still likes her a little too much. <laughs> it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yeah. Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Ugh. She doesn't lift her head. All right, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Well, at least I didn't cut her hand first and then do that, okay? I'm gonna give myself that. Malika, did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri he just looks at me like I did something wrong. I knew that would be a bad idea. You're so weird, Malika. What the fuck, Yuri? Are you fucking kidding me? Yuri giggles shyly. Yuri calling me weird? That's also hot. <laughs> Kelly, contain yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's a thing though. There's a kink for everything. No shame to kinks, but as long as no one's harmed, kinks are okay, I guess. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel. Then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh no, what's happening now? Here, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Having finished, I started to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait, just for a little longer. Ooh, she likes it. It feels really nice. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri, gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arms. And suddenly, her face 
seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's it's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. I'm like, where is this gonna go here? Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, about today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forget you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. You know what I'm trying to say, so you're very thoughtful, Malika. Yuri takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of like that about you. How am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Say Ori? Eh? Uh, hi, Malika. Say Ori? Just now, we weren't. It's okay, Malika. I just stopped by to say hi. Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so of course. I'll see you tomorrow. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Oh, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? How much fun you were having with Yuri and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've made such good friends. Why am I feeling this way, Malika? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it make me feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sari, don't say that. It's true, Malika. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? What the fuck is Monica stirring the tea? She's stirring the pot? She's like fucking making this girl think things that aren't real? Sari, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Sayori looks away. I'm scared, Malika. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Malika, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and that's enough, Sari. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sari's arm and squeeze her hand into mine. What the fuck? Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? What am I doing? I'm very confused. I don't know if holding her hand is like giving her the friend vibe though. I don't feel like if somebody, like a friend is going through this and she's saying that she has feelings for you is to like reciprocate those feelings if I'm not like 100% into it just to like make her happy because it's just, that's never going to end well. Wordlessly, Sari nods. Even even if I don't understand all of your own feelings, I know that you need me most right now. Oh my god, you're leading her on, you womanized- Right? This fucking game! <sighs> so many thoughts. It's just like th how it goes. Like if somebody is going through it and they're looking for a relationship like in general and they're at this point in life where like th they don't even feel like they love themselves, right? Whether it's depression or not depression, just you don't, you have to love yourself first before you love somebody else, right? I just don't feel like me as a friend who knows that Sari has feelings for me by me saying I love her, whether or not it's true, I just don't feel like saying I love you is going to help the situation. If this was real life and this is how I'm going to treat it, I'm in high school and this is a real life situation and like my friend who I feel like we've been friends for quite a few years at least has feelings for me. She's going through some like really tough mental health things regardless of my actual like like romantic feelings for her. This would still be my response right now because this is what she needs now is a friend not to invest everything into like something more than that. And I know that you can tell a friend that you love them and it's still like as friends but like we know Sayori wants that I love you to mean more than just friends. I know like I'm, I'm probably not making the best choice but I'm just being like honest these are my choices so yeah this is what I would say. You'll always be my dearest friend. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. But also, if you did like somebody and then you basically put like them in a situation that like, hey, I'm having these really dark thoughts, but I also like you as more than a friend and you reciprocating that is the only thing that's gonna make me better it's just not it's not facts is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest i should write a poem about this sorry it's okay this is just my punishment remember for being so selfish again like do you want me to be like oh i love you let's be together forever because you're like forcing this not how it works so please please don't worry about these stupid feelings it's 
I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down the path. You're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone else, Malika. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Clutching her head with both his hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulders and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori, dot, 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 I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house because I can't move. There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. Even though I can confront her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. The biggest thing is because you're in high school, well, not even, you don't have to be in high school, just a person. And if you're going through this, you need to talk to a professional. These are high school people trying to fix real problems. Problems. It's just, it, there's so much more to it. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'll be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. Ooh. Oh, okay. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Malika, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori has written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so. Well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? After everything she told me yesterday, like, I feel like something fucking big and drastic is gonna happen right now. But, like, am I stupid in this game? Like, she literally told me how difficult it is for her to wake up because she feels like she has no purpose to get out of bed. And then the literal next day after she told me that, I'm like, oh, she hasn't woken up, so I'll just peace. Like, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow, waking her up in her own place. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori? Wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. It's kind of a breach of privacy, but she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. <gasps> oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. Uh, yeah, you saw that coming. An exemption has occurred. What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. This fucking music. That's why they put me in silence so long. To scare me with this goddamn creepy music. Yeah, this is this is why there's a trigger warning in the title. There's no way this can be real. Sari wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sari I would be there for her. I told her I knew what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? And now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. Am I glitching? End. Is that it? Was that the game? Did I break it? Oh, cool. What did I do? Is this it? Is this the game? Am I supposed to be reading this? What the fuck's happening? I broke the game, guys. After I pack up things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs? There really aren't any that interest me. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Malika? Oh, fuck. Monica? Oh my goodness! I totally didn't expect to see you here! It's been a while, right? Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Jesus fucking Christ. A literature club. That sounds kind of dull. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Man, Mel, it's like you never needed Sayori anyway. What, to get to Monica or to get to Yuri? Are we still trying to get to Yuri? What the fuck is going on? Was any of that real? Well, obviously was a glitch. Is it real? Am I in a simulation? I'm back and I brought a guest with me. <gasps> Monica the frog? <laughs> yes. Hey, Kimothy frog here. <laughs> 